Hey, good morning. Monday, September 26th, 2022. It's going on 7 a.m. on the East Coast of the United States. Yep, I'm going to sub again today. I think all week this week. But next week, I'm just going to do it a couple of days. Next week, I'm going to turn into a 71-year-old lady. <laughs> You can put that old with the 71 or old with that lady, <laughs> whichever you think fits best. Um, so I'm just going to sub two days next week, if they ask me. I don't even have anything on the calendar yet. But um, so this morning, you know, I thought I'd try some of these coffees I haven't had for a while. So this is Reviving Origins from Nespresso Organic Kahawa Yakango. They need to put out pronunciation guides with these coffees, don't you think? So inside this box, they've got a little map of where the coffee comes from. Yes, it's the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Africa. And uh, they've got a little um, QR code that you can use to find out more about it. So here's the capsule. Oh. Here's the cup. Wow, I didn't even light a candle this morning. You know what? Let me light a candle because um, it's always nice to have something nice to smell in the morning. Something sweet in addition to the coffee. Okay, there we go. Oh, you know, I guess I should read to you about this while it's, it's going. Let me get the machine ready. So what does this say? Um, or you know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and extract this coffee. I always say brew, but actually it is extracting the coffee from here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read it after I've tasted it, okay? Because uh, that will be more fun. Okay, where's my little spoons? All right, I emptied the dishwasher yesterday, but not the silverware bin. Here we go. All righty. Got a spoon, I got my capsule in, and off we go. So, this is Kahawa Yakongo, and Democratic Republic of Congo. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but they didn't give me a pronunciation instruction here. Okay, that was quick, right? So, yeah, I'm going to taste the cream. Uh, you know how it usually is. It's usually terrible because it's concentrated. It's super concentrated. Anything that's super concentrated, even if it tastes good when it's diluted, when it's too concentrated. Oh, okay. Linda's watching. She says she loves the Congo. Oh, now, do you mean the country or the coffee, Linda? Okay. <laughs> Let me give this a try. You know, it's... <laughs> I'm really good at remembering colors. I'm really good at looking at a space and knowing what other things will fit in there. You know, like if I have a piece of furniture, or no, I have a space in my house and I go furniture shopping, I don't have to measure things to know if it's gonna fit in the space. I can remember spaces, you know, sizes. I can remember colors. But when it comes to sounds and tastes, it's like, this tastes like something, but I cannot, I cannot pull up from my memory what I'm tasting. Let's see what the box says here. Um, the fertile volcanic soils along Lake Kivu shores in Eastern Congo are ideal Arabica terroir. And you know, terroir means the soil, the atmosphere, the climate, the weather, everything that contributes to where uh, to the coffee in the area where it grows but years of conflict and political instability left estates abandoned 
Congo's potential for high quality coffee was left to wither. So Nespresso joined with Kivu farmers and partners to support coffee communities in raising Congo coffee to its full stature, delivering the first organic coffee into our Reviving Origins range. Reviving Origins Congo is still a scarce treasure to behold, but will bring you more of this smooth organic coffee with its mild fruity note and alluring cereal and nutty aromas. Okay, so there you go on that. And oh, and Linda says, oh, she like it's the coffee she's talking about when she says she likes the Congo. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put some half and half in this because it's a little too something. You know, I said it, it tasted like something, could not pull out of my memory what, and whatever it is, it's too something. Let me try this. So here's the thing. Yeah, with the half and half, it's not bad. I personally don't prefer this type of flavor or this type of experience in my coffee but it is good it's just not you know my preference it's like you know chocolate vanilla strawberry I love them all but my preference would be oh my preference would depend on my mood and what else I've been eating oh dear I'm maybe not being very helpful about this but hey you know what Give it a try. I bet if I drank it over two or three days, I would, you know, start getting used to it and start enjoying it more than I am right at this moment. And Linda says, and I agree, and this is why I love Nespresso. You know, we have so many choices, um, so many different kinds of coffees to choose from. See, already I'm liking it better. Well, and no, I don't sell Nespresso. I don't own stock in it. I don't get any benefits from them. I'm just sharing stuff that I like, that I enjoy, that I get some benefit from. And I'm just being honest with you. Anyway, oh, I gotta get going. Okay, hey, I'll talk to you later.